Today's short story is brought to you by the Impala Lord. And after this story, we'll talk about the Project Orc video from a while ago. Stay tuned. We abducted humans. To be fair, we abducted members of every new race. Abducted a small percentage of the population. Expose them to some galactic prisoners, and we get a good idea of what germs, diseases, and viruses will make the jump between races. Do this over a course of roughly equivalent to a century, and you get an idea of what there is, how quickly it mutates, etc., etc. You also have the time to develop vaccines for any races that might be affected by the new race, including itself. We're not heartless. But we underestimated humans. It was roughly equivalent to four decades into our testing of humanity. We picked up a human from his transport and placed him in a containment cell. He had some nutrients with him, and we picked that up too, lest we had to feed him later. But we underestimated the resourcefulness of humans. Something went wrong. We think it was a door malfunction and he escaped the cell. He disabled the guards easily, we suspect they were less alert than they should have been, and took their weapons. We locked all hatches, hoping to seal them in the laboratory wing. Unfortunately, he hacked the shipboard computer, gaining control of all systems. He made his way to the bridge where he took the captain hostage. We offered him riches, technology beyond human understanding. But we underestimated the stubbornness of humans. He paid us no mind as he wrestled with the controls, as if on some quest. He punched numbers and figures in the consoles, and mumbled something about being lit on fire by a superior. He set the ship down on the other side of the city from where he was picked up and opened the doors. We braced ourselves for military confrontation, but it seemed like we were outside another human's abode. He jumped out, carrying the nutrients with him. We underestimated Domino's 30 minutes of free guarantee. To this day, we still have no idea what Domino's is. Thank you guys for listening in. So, Project Orc, let's talk about that for a second. Let's start off with the bad news. The bad news is I most likely will not be continuing the versions of Humans Are Space Orcs with reading YouTube comments with the back and forth between Nerva and just normal human beings. The good news is Project Orc is a series I'm planning on doing when I move to Los Angeles and have a better setup for it. The original idea for it was to be a radio play, but I feel like when I'm in a better environment and have the funding to do so, Project Orc, I would like to make into an animated series. Something relatively short though, probably just a one season dealio. But the idea for Project Orc is to not only have some comedic aspects like we've had with this story and a bunch of the other ones that I've did with YouTube comments, but actually handling some hard hitting issues with just our environment and humanity in general. It's one of those things I would love to have come into fruition and only time will tell if that actually happens. But for now, I'll do what I can and read the short stories that are provided on Tumblr because Impala Lord and a bunch of other people create fantastic short pieces that are beautiful. And without them, they would not have inspired the idea of Project Orc in the first place. So give them some love, and I'll be getting back to work on some storyboarding ideas for Project Orc. See you guys around!